In today's Taiwan special, I'm going to go through a theory that I developed. And that this, this is one of the things that was clicking for me within the last few weeks. That, that Eastern shame culture, there's this shame. You can Google it, research it, Chinese shame, Asian shame, Korean shame, Japanese shame. It's a, it's a, the, the, the Orientals have this shame culture. Actually, I think Vietnam might not have it so much. Um, but especially China, Korea, Japan, big time. Uh, some, some of it's in Arab, but they're a little bit more resilient. Um, and and here, here's why I say that. Here's why I say that. I was in Hong Kong and there was this American pastor and it's, it's, it's like a Chinese church in America, but this was an American church in Hong Kong. It's kind of the opposite. And the pastor was reading through that, 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 that particular time, the, the God's talking about how Ishmael will become a wild donkey of a man. He says, he will send him out and he will all, he will be a wild donkey of a man. And, and people, you know, most scholars agree that, that Ishmael, uh, Isaac's uh, half older brother, they, they've quarreled. Abraham sent him out in the wilderness. God, God helped him and his mother, Hagar. So God, God loved him. People believe that Ishmael became the father of uh, the Arab tribes, the Arab nations today. And you know, Muslims believe he's a prophet and so forth. He had 13 sons, I believe. So uh, Ishmael, he will be a wild donkey of a man, says the Bible. All right, now go, go search it on yourself. Wild, wild donkey Ishmael. And this pastor spent five minutes apologizing for the Bible. I don't know why God says what he says. And I, I don't understand it, but I, I, I do not hate Arab people. And I do not mean to offend people. And I, I'm, I don't know why God says this, but five minutes of this. And I'm sitting, listen. So. The hostel I was staying at happened to have a man who had told me that he was Arab from Lebanon. He was Lebanese. So I walked up to him being my friendly outgoing self and I showed him this Bible verse. I said, I said, look at this. And he read it. He says, and, and Ishmael will be a wild donkey of a man. Now he knows who Ishmael is and he knows who Abraham is. He said, I, I've never read that before. I, I, I said, you didn't know that. No, I never knew the Bible said that. And, and he had a, he had a, a, he had a gray beard, the color of my hat that I'm wearing. Louis Felipe Gray. Look up King Louis Felipe, the umbrella king in France. It kind of irritated people because he tried to be, he tried to act like a common person, but he wasn't. And that kind of got irritating as all his friends were bankers. He'd walk around with his gray umbrella and his hat. King Louis Felipe of France. So I've got this Louis Felipe gray hat and he had a Louis Felipe gray beard. And, and so this, this guy's seasoned and mature, but youthful. And, and he says, I, I didn't know that it said that. And I said, well, are you offended? He said, yes, it's offensive, but it's from God. So I can take it. And that was kind of too simple for this blabbermouth American. So I had to ask him again. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss something. I said, you, you never knew that you're, you're Muslim and you guys talk about the Bible and you didn't know that was in it about you. you know? And he goes, no, no, no. I never knew that was in the Bible. I said, but, but you're not offended? Like, do you personally, f I mean, it was the SJW question. I was asking him if, if, if we need to call the SJWs uh, to help him, yeah, basically. Uh, and, and I, I said, you are not offended. He goes, yes, I'm offended. Uh, no, he didn't say yes. He, that's the thing. He wouldn't say I'm offended. He said, yes, it is offensive. He'd say it. That's the only thing he'd say. Yes, it is offensive. I said, are you offended? He said, yes, it is offensive, but it is from God. So I can take it. <laughs> and he was happy and walked along his way and I asked him if he could try to help me get a copy of the Quran, and, uh, and he tried, but it didn't work out uh, in time before he left. And then we were happy. Why in the world was that pastor wasting everyone's time apologizing for something that Muslims are not going to get all upset about? If you're going to apologize for a people group being offended, you need to go ask that people group first. 
how out of touch Sunday morning is. And this is a professional pastor. And if you don't have someone as qualified as him, then you're rogue and all that. So what, at what point does, does certification no longer matter? At, at what point, how much incompetence do we tolerate from people that are supposed to be uh, certified for a good reason, supposedly? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, me, I don't judge people by their certification, their sheepskins. I judge them by their fruit because Jesus is my teacher and Jesus is my God. So, anyhow, there's a little bit of offensibility in Arab cultures. Uh, they don't like being compared to a dog because uh, dogs are, are lowly. In America, a dog is awesome and a friend, you dog, you know, but Asia, or, uh, Middle East, Middle East, um, uh, they, they get a little offended by that in, in Arab cultures. Okay, all right. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia, he dealt with that problem. Lawrence of Arabia, great, great, great movie, great story. T.E. Lawrence. All right. I'm not talking about that offendability. I'm talking about Eastern shame. I'm talking about Chinese, Japanese, Korean. And it's a shame... And I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about this in a series of Taiwan special episodes. The Eastern shame. See, I've come to a conclusion about it. And people write books on Eastern shame. It's, it's the East Asian shame. People write books about it. People debate it. American-born Chinese have big problems with it. Uh, the Hong Kong, young, the young people in Hong Kong have conflicts about this thing with, with their parents. Young people in Taiwan have conflict about this with their parents and the grandparents even more. And Americans and East Asians have problems with this. This is a thing. And I'm, I, I feel a need to put out there the, the, the caveat because it's not already known about the, the SJW disclosure. So... Uh, I know you don't want me to say that I'm not generalizing everybody, so I won't. <clears throat> you see what I did there? So, I, but this is a thing. It's a problem in business. It's a problem in religion. And it's, it's a problem in any cultural exchange, in family, marriages, just all kinds. It's a problem. It's a known problem and books are written about this subject of Eastern shame. And basically it, it goes, it goes, you know, we've got grandiosity, which is I'm incapable of admitting that I could ever have anything wrong with me, so I'm going to pretend to be God. It's Jordan Peterson talks about this. Uh, I suppose I've only listened to one of his videos, but it, it's an old. I've been saying this for you. It's why I'm sorry. I'm not all that fascinated with Jordan Peterson because I agree with. I already think everything that he says. So I, I love the guy. If he helps you explain stuff that I already figured out, more power to you. I, I'm. I'm, a, I'm yeah, I'm a fan, but I don't sit and drink in everything he says because I'm smart and thought about it on my own. I mean, he said people, some people know how to think, but thinking is difficult. I'm one of the people that knows how to think. But yes, thinking can be difficult. We need conversation and ideas. I don't know what to think unless I talk to people sooner or later. So, you know, everybody needs to talk to people. That, that was another thing Jordan Peterson talked about. Well... We all need to become better. Nobody's perfect. Anyone can become a criminal. Any, anyone has the potential, you know, given the right life circumstances, that the Nazis were nice people. And, and given the right circumstances, we can do terrible, horrible things. And um, Eastern shame culture is incapable of understanding that. Eastern shame culture is incapable of saying, I know that I'm not perfect. I know that I can't do and be everything. I, so I want to become better. I want you to tell me my flaws so that I can fix them. I want you to tell me where I can do better so I can become better. It's, not a, it's, just, it's all about posturing and pretending to be the best and pretending to already have arrived at being the greatest without having to study to, to become better. They're incapable of that. And if you so much as want to talk to the boss, he could have an emotional meltdown because nobody tries to talk to God. 
You're supposed to act all afraid when the boss comes by in order to puff up his ego. Like I say, people have written articles about this. People have talked about this. And it's really a weird thing. And, and don't take my word for it. I, I'm going to be looking into this more with, with a, a buddy. I'm just going to call him Brandon for now. And I met him in Taiwan once. And he, Brandon was here. And he had the normal cultural clash with his family. But he pushed through it. He stood up, you know, he, they wanted him to, to come home and study like an Asian. Go to school, come home, study, go to sleep. Something like that. This is my summary. I'll let him speak for himself later. I, I'm going to try to get him as a guest on, on, on the Taiwan special because I'm looking at doing that here in a few months or a few weeks. So I, I want to get Americans to call me and ask questions and I want to talk with other Americans who've been in Taiwan. I'm not blowing smoke. This guy, I, I, we were talking about Asian shame culture. We talked for two hours. I do believe it was yesterday about what, what I'm seeing, what we're all seeing in, in the geopolitical sphere. This shame culture thing is a thing and it's a real problem. And, and, and it's, 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 there's some shame culture in different places. And I'm specifically talking about the, the, the Eastern, the, 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 the East Asian, Chinese, Korean, Japanese culture of shame. And I've come to some conclusions about this very real shame culture. And I'm going to get to that in the next Taiwan special podcast.